Hey guys, after watching a video by um, Brian from Tech Gear City on the impact that the Spectre and Meltdown Windows patches can have on the performance of older Xeons, I thought I'd run a few in-game tests using my E5266 V1 uh, Xeon chip. I'll also include a link to Brian's video in my description in case you're wondering what these patches actually are. The in-game benchmarks I'll be running for today's test are Far Cry 5, CSGO, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, GTA 5 and World of Tanks. At the end of this video I'll be drawing whatever conclusions I think possible out of the limited testing I've performed.
Nos vemos luego. Estaré aquí toda la noche. ¡Ey! ¡Cuidado, niños!
Okay, so let's have a look at the results. I've basically normalized these results, um, setting the 100% 100 uh, based on the average 1% and average uh, FPS for the lower and higher settings with the patches enabled so that we can just get a relative idea of how much quicker the system is with the settings disabled. So if you look at the lower settings we can see that the results for the average FPS are actually 5% better whilst the results for the 1% lows are around about 6% improved. Um, if we look at the higher uh, settings where we're more GPU limited, it really doesn't make that much difference. Uh, the actual results said we were 1% faster for um, average FPS and 1% slower for 1% um, lows, but I think what that means is the margin of error is so, such that there's no essential difference. So what I think these results are telling you is that if you're GPU limited, you probably don't need to worry too much about disabling the Meltdown Inspector patches for gaming. However, if you're more CPU limited, then you might consider um, actually disabling the Meltdown Inspector patches. Uh, so hopefully you liked this video guys. If you did, please consider liking the video or potentially subscribing to my channel. Thank you.